Hey guys, George and Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk a little bit about Soundcar. This is one of our decoders that we have in our product line that allows you to add sound to the rest of your train. This includes sounds like clickety clack, flange squeal, brake squeal, brake release. Now one of our OEM partners, Athern Trains, has actually implemented the Soundcar into their ICC caboose. So today we're going to take a quick look at just some of the cool things that you get with the Soundcar in your ICC caboose. So let's get started. Now when you get a Soundtracks decoder in your ICC caboose, you get a sound car. Now this is a full featured sound car, so you get all of the sounds, including all of the bells and whistles, yes, and we'll get to that in just a second. But you get all of the sounds included just like you would if you would install it yourself. However, you get the added benefit of having it factory installed. Now some of the big features, of course, that you're going to get with Soundcar is, of course, the wheel click and the flange squeal. So as your locomotive and as your train is running down the tracks, you're going to hear the occasional clickety-clack and the occasional flange squeal. Now the clickety-clack will adjust its rate based on the speed that the locomotive, or in this case the Soundcar, is commanded to go. So as you increase your speed, the clickety-clack rate is going to get faster. Now you have settings inside your sound car decoder to determine the overall length of the car so that that way you can match that clickety clack rate to the size of your car. So let's take a quick listen at just the wheel clickety clack and the flange squeal. So you can kind of hear how that flange squeal and that clickety clack really start bringing the car to life. Now one of the other advantages of the sound car is what we call intelligent consisting. An intelligent consisting allows us to add a sound car decoder to our locomotive or our consist of locomotives by quickly easily adding a magnet wand to wave over the sensor. So we're going to wave our magnet over the sensor and that's going to trigger the decoder to go into what's called search mode. And search mode it means the decoder is looking for a unique sequence of commands on our track to know which locomotive to join. So that command is F8 four times, on, off, on, off. And when the decoder is in search mode and it sees that DCC command, it knows to join that address for that locomotive or that consist. Now on the ICC caboose, the intelligent consist sensor is actually located in the middle of the car. So on this particular one, you will need to open the windows and we can access it with our magnet. So on this back side here, so I can see it better, I've actually got the windows open. So we're going to insert our magnet and you're going to hear the sound of the handbrake release. That's your audio cue to let you know it's ready to join a train. Now that the handbrake has been released, we're going to grab our locomotive on our throttle here. We're going to select Loco 1000. So select 1000. And we're going to hit F8 four times. So on, off, on, off. Now you're hearing the retainers bleeding off and that's your audio cue to let you know that the decoder has now joined the commands going to address 1000. So now on my throttle with address 1000, when I start moving my throttle to say speed step 10 or 15, I'm actually at speed step 20 now, you can hear that clickety clack on the flange wheel going in accordance with the speed of the locomotive. Now we'll bring it to a stop. And you can hear how it's coasting to a stop based on the momentum ratings. Now one of the other advantageous things of the sound car decoder is that you can actually trigger the sound of the brakes. So by default, the Tsunami and Tsunami 2 have F11 as our brake application, which means it triggers the brakes. When in our Tsunami 2, when you have F12 on, that tells the decoder it's in train brake mode. So that way you hear the air pressure reduction on the locomotive, but then you can hear the squealing on the cars. So what we're going to do is while the car is running independently, we're going to go ahead and run it at about speed step 15 or 16 and we're going to listen to the brake squeal application and release right now. And then brake release. So 
So you can kind of see how that sound really works. But one of the added advantages, of course, of the sound car is that you have the ability to add a braking rate. So with your Tsunami 2 decoder, you're going to match the braking rate in the sound car to that of your automatic or your train brake rate, which is stored in CV118 in your Tsunami 2. It's stored in CV61 here. So now when we're running again at the same speed and we've implemented our braking rate, you can actually hear how the brakes are set and it will actually slow the car to a stop. And when the car comes to a stop in conjunction with the rest of your train, then you're going to hear the squealing stop. Let's take a listen now. And when the car comes to a stop, the braking stops. When we release, So now that you've seen how the braking rate is implemented, you can see how much cooler it is to operate with a whole train of sound cars rather than even just the caboose. But the good news is all of these features come in the caboose. Now with our sound car, one of the other things you get is the air whistle. Now a lot of times when the locomotives or the trains would be shoving over a long distance. Let's say we have a caboose on the end, we have about seven to 10 cars and a locomotive. Now they're gonna have to shove several miles down the way. Now normally, because it's coming caboose forward, they would have to stop, get out, flag the crossing, cross over because of course the horn is several feet down the way with different freight cars in between. So it doesn't quite sound like it's about to cross the crossing. So what they would have to do is get out, flag the crossing, occupy the crossing, reboard the caboose, and then continue on till the next crossing. This can become very cumbersome and take a lot of time, especially having to stop at each crossing. Well, one of the advantages is the air whistle. So what the conductor would do at this point, when he would tie onto the brake hose to it with an air whistle, he would stand on the platform and the shoving platform, i.e. the caboose, would then be shoved down the track where then he can blow the whistle from the caboose to notify motorists of the train that's about to occupy the crossing. So we can do that with the sound car. So you can kind of get a feel now for how much more fun an operating session can be with the sound car. Now, the last thing sound car can offer you with installed inside this ICC caboose is the fact that there's actually lighting involved. Now, the lights can operate on either end of the car to indicate the rear of the train. So when you're moving in the quote unquote forward direction, you can have the rearward facing light illuminated. Conversely, when you're moving the other direction, you can have again the rearward facing light illuminated. And it really just depends on direction. So and that can be direction can be set based on the throttle commands either to your locomotive or to the sound car independently. Now one of the other advantages of the ICC caboose with the sound car already installed is the fact that you do have interior lights. On their custom designed circuit board, it actually has LEDs to illuminate the interior. So now you can see all the advantages of having a sound car decoder already installed in your ICC caboose. And then you can also take a look and see just how much more fun operating your trains would be if you had a sound car in all of your freight cars as well. Now we've done some previous videos on how to do those installations and the things to keep in mind. So be sure to check out those videos as well on our YouTube channel. Now for more information on our sound car, please visit our website at soundtracks.com. Be sure to check out the user's guide. Now if you're new to this channel, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that notification bell to make sure you get notified every week when we post our new videos covering cool topics about the Tsunami 2, Soundcar, and other Soundtracks products.